Hi there, it's Mr. Rops. And Mrs. Flynn. And today we're going to use our GDC for statistics today. And, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this set of data. Okay, and now to enter this data into our graphing calculator, we want to go to Stat. And we're, and we're going to enter a list. Oh. So you may have, so, we, so Stat, we hit Enter on Edit. And if we go to List 1, you may or may not have numbers here. If you do, you go on top of L1. Clear, enter. So go back over to L2 and let's do the same thing. Go up, clear, yeah. enter. Great. So everything's all cleared off now. Okay, into list one, let's enter in the value. So one, enter, one, enter, one, enter. Two, two three, three, three. Oh, two threes. Ooh. Yep. One, four, five, five, six, and eight. Okay. All right. Now that we have that, let's see what our calculator can do with it. All right. And we're going to be looking for the mean, medium, mode, too. So back to our calculator. If we quit this by second mode, now, if we want to find these things, we go stat. It's always easy to remember. Stat has all the statistics. Yeah. And we're going to go to, we're going to calculate something, and we're going to calculate one variable statistics. And so I hit enter. And then we have to tell what we're going to calculate the one variable statistics right. of. So we want list one. That's down here. You have to hit your second, second key and then oh, one. Because there's an L1 there above. And then I'm and we can hit enter. hit enter. There we go. So what does that X bar mean? X bar means the mean. Means the mean. Means the mean. <laughs> means the mean or the average. All right. Okay. So let's just go ahead and write that out then. Okay. So, so our mean yeah. is... 3.55, five. that's to three, three sig figs, significant figures. The median is our middle number. And if you notice there's an arrow here, that means there's more information down low. So let me just click down, toggle um, down, and I get the median is three. So I know my median is going to be three. And the, the mo mode? It's not done by the calculator. We just have to do it ourselves. I think it's just too easy. The calculator doesn't want to bother. <laughs> Must be. <laughs> so if we look at this. The mode is the most common one, and that's going to be 1. The mode is 1. So our calculator will find the mean and the median for us. Now, there's other things our calculator will do, too. And there's this thing called a five-number summary. I'm sure you've heard that before. That's really important when it comes to... Um, Viewing statistical data. Right, and looking at the range of how the data is all set up. And the five number summary consists of the minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, maximum. And if we look at our calculator, the same thing, it's, it tells us already. The minimum is one. Q1, what do you think that represents? That's the lower quartile, the first quartile, or the lower quartile. So that's also one. The median we know is three. The upper quartile... Well, that's going to be Q3, just that's five. 5, and then our maximum is 8, and we can read that from here. All right, so I there's know. mean, medium, mode, all from one variable statistics. We also are going to look for what is called a box and whisker plot, box and whisker. And they're easy to draw once you are given the five number summary. Right, and we can do it by hand. We can also do it by calculator. What would you like to do first? Well, we might as well just do it by hand first. Okay. So here's my line, and I'm going to put on here um, some numbers. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. eight. Here's 0. And our box and whisker basically represents these numbers here. I know a minimum is 1, so here's 1. I put a line. The lower quartile is also 1. The median is three. three, the upper quartile is five, and the maximum is eight. And so I put a box from the quartile one to quartile three, upper to lower quartile, and then a line up to the maximum. So you notice that we're mis missing a whisker on the left-hand side. Why is that? Well, because the minimum and the lower quartile are the same. If it would have been a zero here, let's say. Then there would have been here, and I would have drawn it as such. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to undo that all since it's not really 
there. All right. Our calculator will do this exact same thing. If we go to our calculator, I'm going to go to second y equals, which is our stat plot. Stat plot makes sense because we're working with statistics. Right. We're plotting our stats. I'm going to hit enter. I want to turn it on. I'm going to, it's flashing on on, so I'm going to make it bold. Now it's turned on. And I want, toggling through these different ones, this one here we're going to use. And you have to check to make sure that your X list is your L1, your right. list. Where we put this set of data in. Yeah. And frequency, this time we want frequency to be 1, because each of these values counts as 1. Sometimes we put them in... If you went by fives or tens or whatever right. you want to go by. but Right. And sometimes we even refer to a list as the frequency. But then we hit enter. We're good here. I'm going to now go to zoom. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me get Wait. out of here. Yeah. Let's go to zoom. And if I go to zoom nine, I believe it's nine. It's called zoom stat. And zoom stat will look at the list and then make a window appropriately for that list. Oh, so you don't even have to think. And so here is your box and whisker plot. Just to make sure that that is actually the correct values mm -hmm. there, we could hit trace. And there it's telling us at the bottom, that's the median, it's flashing on what it is. There's our quartile okay. one, our okay. minimum. If we go the other direction, we get quartile three and the maximum. All right. Now, the last thing our calculator will do for us, it will also draw a histogram. So if I go to stat plot again, I'm going to go to plot one. We'll just change the type of graph we want. All right. And I go, this one is my histogram. Hit enter. And again, I'm going to go zoom now. Number to nine. Number nine. Oh, I just know Maybe it's you can nine. just hit a nine, yep. And here is what my histogram will look like. Now, it's a pretty important for us to know what's on the x-axis and what's on the y-axis. Right. And so, and I'm also going to look at my window. Here's what my window says. So let's make our window maybe a little bit nicer values than this. Let's go 1. We'll make this, uh, we know it goes ten. up to 8 to 10. We'll make it up to 10. Oh, 81. No. Make it 10. And we can make our x scales, we'll make that. We talked about it being 1 before. Okay. Maybe we should stay with 1 again. Okay. Um, and these values... We'll be okay. So we graph it now. And here is our histogram. We can see our histogram as such. Oh, let me get rid of that one. So here's our histogram. Our x values put labels on it. We should put labels on this one too. Our x is going to be, uh, mm. we don't have a context here, let's say numbers. And this is frequency. I know this is 3. And this is going to be two, and this is going to be one. And you know that's three because there are three number ones. Right. Um, looking down at this bottom one, if I had a context, maybe this was actually going to be, I don't know, uh, test scores of BIS students, uh, <laughs> then then one. we would say BIS student scores. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Student scores. MYP test scores. One right, day, MYP, one to eight. One yeah. to eight <laughs> okay. MYP test scores. Um, then we would have this scenario here. And we have it labeled and give it a title, and we know what is there. So your calculator will do lots of these things. It's really important that you are comfortable with it. Make sure you try to do it. On your own. Yeah.